Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about user registration confirmation, which is one of the processes that you can apply that is available out of the box with Backendless to ensure that the user is real. And uh, the process uh, works in a way where user registers and an email message is sent to the user's email with a link that they have to click. It is a fairly common approach that is used by a number of applications. It's not the only one. There are other approaches such as uh, sending a, an SMS to the user's phone number and making sure that the phone number is, re is real, but that's outside of the topic that I'm covering in this video. So uh, what does Backendless provide out of the box as far as email confirmation? Uh, first of all, if you switch to the users section in the uh, Backendless console, there is a user registration section. And in here, there is a toggle that says require email confirmation. This toggle is off by default. If you were to turn it on, what's going to happen is anytime a user is registered, either through uh, API or if you were to register that user directly using Backendless console, an email will be sent out to that user with the link that they have to click to confirm their email address. And by clicking that link or opening that link uh, in a browser, that uh, enables that user to log in. So if require email confirmation is on and the user hasn't clicked on that link in the email, they will not be able to log in because the account is not fully enabled yet. So what's gonna happen here, what, what that email will look like? Well, it is also configurable. And to configure the text of that email, if you switch to messaging and then select emails, one of the, there, is, there are a bunch of different templates here. So you can see a list of them here. Uh, one of the templates is called confirmation template. And uh, you see the email subject and you see the text of this email. And uh, one of the uh, uh, elements of this email is a substitution variable that is called confirmation underscore URL. And then all available substitution variables are listed down below. So here, and by the way, here's another one that is used, which is the application name. So in here, you can uh, configure this email. You can actually make it a beautiful HTML email, because if you go into view and select source code, here's the full HTML. So you need to know how to format HTML for emails because there are uh, special rules that's really outside of this uh, the, the, the scope of this video. But anyway, using this interface, you can control the text of that email. Make sure that this confirmation URL substitution variable stays in there because that will get resolved into a, a complete URL for your application running in Backendless. Now, uh, we have enabled it. Uh, to require email confirmation. And uh, now let's just register a user. I'll be registering myself so I can get that email. And uh, let's just see how that will work. So I'll switch to front end and I will use the same uh, page that we created earlier where we reviewed uh, user registration API with Codeless. So here I have, uh, I still have Thor. Let's uh, register a user called MP, which will be Mark Pillar. I'll just use my Gmail address, keep the same password. So now if I run this page, I still have this network traffic, uh, click register. This is the registration API uh, user has been created. And then uh, if we go back to the backend section, we see that the user is there. Now let me check my email. I do have another screen here and uh, here's that email that I have received. So as you can see, it was sent from Backendless and that link got resolved into this rather lengthy URL, which is you can actually mask it by basically creating just a link text with whatever the address in there, it will still work. So if I take this URL and let me just copy the address and open it up in a browser, this is what the user will see when they click this URL. Now this page, is also customizable and you can uh, modify it in UI Builder. In fact, let me show where you can modify what this page looks like. That's the page that the user sees when they click this link. So if you go to front end and in the user interface, 
if you select in the containers system, you will see that system in there. So here, if you go into this, move the mouse over here and under containers, select system, there's going to be a, a multiple pages here. And uh, the page that is displayed is called confirmation confirmed. So this is the page that shows up. So you can modify the styles and the look and feel and make sure that it's branded with the name of your application, whatever you need to do, uh, then just click publish container and then that page will get updated in Backendless. But at this point, since I click that link, open it in the browser, my user is ready and this is the user and uh, I can log in into this application because I can, I confirmed my email address. That's all I wanted to share with you in this short, but very important video, because we see in quite a few applications, this technique of validating user email address is being used. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, happy backhandless coding.